while we're waiting, I'd like to give you a quick update on our progress in the realm of social media. As has been discussed, we're having great progress online in the social media. And just like we've doubled our membership and our registered voters, we've also doubled our reach on social media. And the NJLP Facebook page is regularly reaching over 100,000 New Jerseyans every week. So that's fantastic. And thank you very much to everyone who's been sharing our posts, sharing our content. Really appreciate it. And I don't know if you've ever been really bored and you've looked at the social media presence of Republicans or Democrats in the state. There's nothing going on. There's no enthusiasm. There's no excitement. There's no interest. But our social media is absolutely on fire. It's, it's really incredible how much we've grown and how many people we're reaching. I mean, I, I don't, I'm looking around, I don't see any members of the mainstream media here today. I might be wrong. But when you go online and people get to actually vote for themselves what they're interested in, the Libertarian Party is, is dominating. So I think that's very exciting. I think that's a great uh, leading indicator of where the sentiments of the people of New Jersey lie. So at this time, that's been three minutes by my watch. So can someone please enter the smoke-filled room and bring forth lieutenant governor candidate? <laughs> Dan. As we wait, the uh, Central Jersey Chair is willing to give a rapid-fire report as we wait for the candidates to come out. Fantastic. Well, I would be after the. Uh, I would say no. wait for that until after the regional meeting. Cool. That's because he has an opportunity to do that. Already. Yeah, yeah. We're just running out of time. I'd like to kill some birds. So, so I would open the nominations. Uh, I don't think we're ready yet. Open them anyway. Okay. It's been three minutes. We are now opening the nominations for Lieutenant Governor of the state of New Jersey. Would anyone like to make a nomination? Audio. Therese, please. Yeah. Therese, do you accept? I accept. All right, fantastic. Therese has been nominated. Other nominations for Lieutenant Governor? Dan. I'd like to nominate James. James, do you accept? Yes. Okay, James accepts. Nominate Ken Chapel. Ken, do you accept? Ken declines. But thank you to Ken for being our previous gubernatorial candidate in 2012. Um, other nominations? I'd like to nominate Jason. Jason, do you accept? I do. Okay. Other nominations for Lieutenant Governor in the back? Yes, ma'am. Ryan Mandel? Ryan, do you accept? No. Ryan declines. Other nominations for Lieutenant Governor? Dan Crow. Dan, do you accept? I decline. Dan declines. So I'm far we have... running for the assembly. Yeah. We have Carice, James, and Jason so far nominated. Do I hear other nominations for Lieutenant Governor? Last call for nominations. Mm -hmm. Going once, going twice. Okay. The candidates are Carice DeGuerre, James Marco Tulio and Jason McKenna. And of course, none of the above. We've already heard from all these candidates, and since they're behind schedule, I, I don't think we need to hear from them again unless somebody objects. So unspecified B? We're going to use unspecified yes. B ballot. Yes. Is that what we're using? We're going to use unspecified B for the ballot to vote for lieutenant governor. We'll just spend the rules for 10 seconds to give my endorsement. Do I have a second? Second. 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 All in favor of suspending the rules to allocate 10 seconds for Pete to make a brief statement, please raise your blue card and vote aye. Okay, thank you. Any opposed, please raise your blue card to vote nay. Okay, that passes unanimously. Pete, you have 10 seconds to make a brief statement. <laughs> I'm endorsing Clarice. We spoke. We're in agreement on a lot of things. 
I endorse her. I ask you to vote for her. Help us unify this ticket. Thank you. Okay, we will now proceed with the voting. You are using the ballot that says unspecified B, and you are voting for either Jason McKenna, James Marco Tulio, Teresa Blair, or none of the above. When you've written your selection, please hold it up in the air and we will be around to collect it. Spelling does not count. So we're like public school in that regard. Maybe public school is next. I went to public school, so that explains a lot. Um, so we are burning daylight. I want to try to make sure we get out of here on time for lunch, which means we're, we're cutting into the regional caucuses right now. But this is the same procedure. So we're going to look for a majority of the votes. If a majority is not obtained on the first ballot, we will eliminate the lowest vote gathering candidate and anyone under 5%, and we'll continue doing runoffs until someone gets the majority of the votes. So please make sure that your ballot is collected so that we can count. We want to make sure everyone votes in. Last call for ballots for Lieutenant Governor of New Jersey. So the plan for the rest of the day is to wait for results. After we have lunch, we have an outstanding lineup of speakers to address you. Uh, most of you probably already are familiar with them. One of them is standing in the back of the room, Mr. Larry Sharp. Larry is my colleague on the National Committee. Larry was the runner-up for vice president at the Orlando convention and lost by a very slim margin. Uh, we're very happy to have Larry here with us today. Also attending is Julie Borowski. Uh, most of you probably know Julie. She's a YouTube superstar. Uh, you've probably see, seen her there. You might have seen her speak at other libertarian events across the country. We're very excited to have her. Also scheduled to speak is Bob Bowden. Uh, Bob is fantastic. I, I don't know if you've seen the movie The Cartel, the documentary about the New Jersey public school system. Uh, Bob helped create that. Bob was a leader in the school choice movement. He uh, was kind enough to invite me to speak at School Choice Day last year, and I believe was it Kevin represented us there this year. Uh, that's that's a tremendous effort, and he's a he's a real leader. He's a documentary filmmaker. We're very happy to have him here. Um, and then we're also going to have Michael Germain who's going to speak to us about libertarians in law enforcement and libertarian issues in law enforcement. So we have some really great speakers and we have a couple surprises coming up. Where can we see Dinosaur Island? Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Ken. So, if anyone is interested, you know, people accuse libertarians of not caring about charity. My band is having a charity fundraising event for Elijah's Promise uh, Soup Kitchen right here in New Brunswick. Uh, March 22nd at the Court Tavern, uh, we're having four or five local bands. We're donating all of our proceeds to the soup kitchen. So, please feel free to come out and support a good cause. I can't guarantee good music. <laughs> I might have to just tolerate the music, but I can guarantee it's for a good cause. Okay, I have the results for Lieutenant Governor. None of the above has one vote. Jason has one vote. James has one vote. Therese has 48 votes. So, congratulations. going to happen now may be a little bit confusing to some of you who haven't been to one of our conventions before, and maybe some of you who have. 
But what's going to happen is we're going to break out by region. These are regional caucuses. Each one of you is in a region, north, central, or south. I'm going to suggest north meets back there, central in the middle, and south over here. Your business is to elect a regional chair. You already have one. That person should assume control of this process. You need to elect a regional representative for the board, and you need to nominate your local candidates and then report back to us with your findings. You have 13 minutes to do this. Okay? So, point, real quick, point of order, Dan. This is a general point of information as we're about to approve our nominated candidates. After the candidates are approved, we'll be offering them the opportunity to be interviewed by our, by our video staff. So please, once you have your slate together, give the list to either myself or Tim, and we will make sure that process goes as quickly as possible. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, north in the back, central south. in the middle, south over here. Please get with your regional chair. We're going to lead you through the process. <laughs> Thank you. 